Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Prep Zone. I'm Red Sharp. Well, here it is, the beginning of a new school year and the beginning of a new Prep Zone season. We're here at Salmon High School this afternoon for a girls' high school uh, volleyball matchup between the Salmon Lady Spartans and crosstown rival First Baptist Lady Eagles. I'm looking forward to a good matchup. Let's go talk to the coaches. Pre-game with Coach King. Coach, uh, this is your first year coaching. Talk about some of the uh, expectations you have for your girls coming into this season. I have very high expectations for my Lady Spartans. Uh, we were out here every morning over the summer from 7 to 10 a.m. We were conditioning, getting ready. Um, and then they're out here every day. We're at practice uh, from 3 to 5.30 in the afternoon. We're getting out there. I'm really expecting them to come out here and show them what we've got. I mean, we've been working really, really hard. I, I expect us to come out there and prove that uh, Salmon High is not just a football school or a basketball school. We're also a volleyball school. So I expect that on my ladies, and they're really excited about proving that to, uh, to the teams out here this year. Right, and I, and I see that you got a couple of key players back uh, in Kalani Brown, especially, yes. and some others. Uh, talk about what 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 you uh, can kind of expect from them as the season progresses. Um, Kalani Brown is a, is a phenomenal athlete. Uh, she's our middle blocker. I'm expecting uh, tremendous tremendous blocks. I'm expecting kills out of her. Uh, Megan Brown, our team leader, uh, she's a tremendous athlete. Every coach is hope right there is Megan Brown. She comes out there every day, gives 100% on and off the court, and I, I expect that out of her every day, but she goes further than that. Um, so I've got I've got some great leaders on my team. Uh, I have another hitter, Denisha. She, she's phenomenal as well. Um, our setter, Jordan, she, she'll be setting all year long. She's a sophomore, so I'm really looking forward to coaching her for the next couple years when she gets a senior. But like I said, I have some tremendous athletes out here, and I, I can't wait for our opening game today. Free game with Coach Hederman. Coach, it's a cross-town robbery, really closer than that. Uh, these girls know one another. They, they're pretty familiar with, 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 with their style of play. Uh, what do you expect from a game like this tonight? Well, you know, the past couple of years, it's been a really good matchup, you know, uh, and most of the girls are still here. I know that we lost our, our, our setter from last year, but other than that, our side and their side is pretty much the same teams. So, you know, we've been playing each other, like say, a short trip across town right there. We've been playing for a couple of years, so the girls know each other pretty good. And we know it's always going to be pretty competitive and a fun game. So it is a fun matchup. We did it last year. I spoke to you earlier about that. Uh, talk to me about some of the players that some of our viewers might not know about uh, on, on your squad, who you're expecting big things from. Well, uh, this year we've got one senior, Emily Campo. You know, she's been playing a start for the past two or three years. And uh, we've had to switch her to setter this year to take on a new role. But she's really developed really well, you know, taking that role without, you know, without complaining about it and stepping up and really being a leader for the team. So we really expect her to just lead the girls on the floor kind of be that captain on the field, so to speak. And this one is underway here at Salmon High School. First Baptist Lady Eagles taking on the Salmon Lady Spartans. The Spartans strike first. Pardon me. That was a First Baptist point. And that'll be Miggy. Once again for the serve, Cameron Miggy, number 14 for the Lady Eagles. Brown sends it over. That's out of bounds. One one here in the first game. That'll send Jordan Earhart to the line to serve. Nice jump serve. Stays in. Fredericks gets it over. Spartans able to save it. Brown can't quite find the net. And it's two to one Lady Eagles. Emily Campo back to serve. Lady Eagles substitution early. They bring in Lauren Thurstrup. Campo looking for a good spot to hit this serve. Kalani Brown, you can see in the middle of your screen, she gets kind of hit with the ball, Kalani does. A little bit of an error from the Salmon Lady Spartans. It's 3-1. Campo again. 
back on serve. Right back over the net. Nice save. Brown gets it over. Campo. The libero. Number 21, Madison Jones, can't find the top of the net. And the defense specialist loses a point. 3-2 still, first Baptist in the lead. Price with the serve, that's popped up. And Cheyenne Lentz hits it out of bounds. We have a tie ball game here. Game number one, 3-3. Price again. Looks for the serve. Nice. Cheyenne Lance can't find the handle. And that puts the Spartans up for the first time in this game. Four to three. And Denisha Price serve. Serves yet again. There's a little dunk over the net. Didn't quite work out for the Lady Eagles. And it's 5-3 now. Price again. Good serve. Jones. Fredericks, nice power. Wow, look at that. That's Megan Brown with a nice spike over the net there. Unable to be controlled by the Lady Eagles. Price still on serve. The score 6-3 now. Jones. Kalani Brown, just a force right there. You can see um, you're not going to really get it. You're not going to put the ball over the top of her. You're going to have to hit it over her. 7-3, Price on serve. Jones. Brown again, just an intimidation factor right there in the center of the net for the Spartans. And that's seven unanswered points and a timeout. And we're back in after a brief timeout. The score is 8-3, Denisha Price still serving as the Spartans have kind of taken control of this first game. Again, nice serve. Jones able to handle it. Spartans pick that up. Back over Jones. The libero able to do all the good work there. And that's a nice shot from Jackie Fredericks to get the Eagles back on track. It's now eight to four. And Fredericks to serve. A lot of power there. Brown able to pick that up off the net. Very, very lucky for the Lady Spartans. That makes it nine to four now. As Brown able to get that over. Here comes number 24, Kalani Brown, to serve for the first time in this, in this match. Fredericks gets it set back to her. Nice pickup there from Denisha Price. And then Kalani tries to find the corner, unable to do so, makes it 9-5. to five. Lady Spartan still in the lead, but the Eagles are trying to find a way to bring it back in this game. Madison Jones back to serve. Price. Brown. Eagles able to pick it up. Fredericks too much across the back line. Spartans pick that point up. It's now 10 to 5. The Eagles thus far not able to find a traction here. Jones. That goes right back to the Spartans. 
And that's Kayla Sibley with a nice shot across the net. The Eagles just weren't able to find it. That makes it 11 to five. Jones lets it go wisely. She was able to see that that ball was gonna fly a little wide. 11-6, still Spartan lead. Eagles trying to chip away. Got a substitution. In comes Lexi Revere, and she's gonna serve it up. Spartans let it go. Denisha Price saw that all the way. Makes it 12 to six. Game one, this crosstown rivalry. That serve out of bounds, really close. Brown couldn't keep it in. Makes it 12-7. And this is Olivia Godan. Kalani Brown picks that one up. Price gets it over. Nice set. And that's Cameron Miggy able to send that across net. Lady Spartans were able to get a, a hand on it, so to speak, but still unable to keep it in bounds. And it's 12-8. Go down with the serve. Price. Fredericks gets it over. Earhart. Price. And it finds the other side of the net for a Lady Eagle point. And brings us to 12-9. And the Eagles are now playing with a purpose here. Brown gets it over. Wow, well played. Back to Fredericks. Brown, straight up, a little back and forth on the net. The Eagles able to dig that off the floor and get it across. Price now with a spike and sends it home. Well played from both teams. 13-9, Lady Spartans. More substitutions from both squads. The libero, Carly Arthur, back to serve this up for the Spartans. Lexi Revere, set for Fredericks. Brown gets it over the net. Well played from the Lady Eagles. 13-10, now they're only down by three. Looks like they've gotten some of the jitters out and have kind of settled into this match. Cameron Miggy to serve. Earhart sends it to Kalani Brown who just really overpowers the ball. And that's the Spartans. It's going to make it 14 to 10. Anytime Kalani touches it, the Eagles are going to have to be on guard, obviously because of her height, but a lot of power behind it as well. Here comes Cache Shelton. I'm, pardon me, that's Jordan Earhart. Fredericks paints the back line. Great point, 14-11. Fredericks kind of uh, the Lady Eagles weapon here as far as putting the ball across the net with authority. Emily Campo. Kalani Brown gets it over. 
a nice save from jones spartans can't get to that one and it's fourteen twelve the eagles have been on a steady a steady incline towards uh, tying this game up good serve Jordan Earhart. Price gets it over. And it's 15-12. As the Spartans, after three unanswered, get one back. And here's Price. Jones lets it go. Saw that it was going to be long. Fifteen thirteen. Here in game one, Lady Spartans, Lady Eagles, Fredericks looking to do some damage here with this nice serve. Earhart sets it up for Kalani Brown, who just puts it away. Really no problem there. If you can get the ball to Kalani in that situation, I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten she's going to put it away. And just after scoring, she's going to step back and serve this ball. Referee having a discussion here. Not sure what happened. Here we go. Brown to serve. And she just hits that one long. She knew it as soon as she hit it. You could tell. A little too much power there. Madison Jones, the defensive specialist for the Lady Eagles, back to serve this one up. It's 16-14, everybody. Brown. Price gets it over. Nice back and forth here from both teams. Brown finally gets a piece of it. Saved by Fredericks. And then she's going to try to send it over. Can't do it. Spartans with a big point there as both teams rallied. Alexis Valerie back to serve. Jones. Lentz. Fredericks. Earhart sends it over finally. Fredericks, nice pop. Price digs it out. Brown, out. Spartans with the point. Brown found the line there. And that makes it 18 to 14 here in the first game. We got a double hit here, I believe. It's going to make it 19-14. The Spartans getting ever closer to that magic number to end this first game. Frederick sets for Jones, who gets it over. There's Price. Brown looking to hit it hard, can't do it. Olivia Godin with a nice point for the Eagles. That makes it 19-15. Here comes Lexi Revere. Price. Earhart. Miggy. Godan hits it off the, the hand of a Spartan player, unable to control it, and that makes it 1916 now. 
Lady Eagles still in the game. Revere gets it over Kalani Brown. Earhart. Brown, too much. 19-17. And if I remember correctly, this is exactly how things went last year when we covered this game. These two teams bring it. And they bring it to the wire. Earhart, Brown. Wow, right between two Eagle players who didn't know exactly um, which one was going to get it. Brown splits the players, and that makes it 20 to 17. <laughs> Megan Brown, nice serve, Jones, able to handle that. Fredericks, did she get it? She did. Wow. A lot of really nice accuracy from both sides here in this first game to score points like that. 2018. And Olivia Godin back to serve. Brown to Brown. Price just kind of gets it over. Fredericks gets it back to herself. She tries to play a little trickery, and it works out. 2019. Brown, Earhart, Price off the net, bounces up. Eagles able to recover. And here we go. We got a ball game, folks. 2020. The Eagles have come back, and they've, uh, you know, the last time that they led this game, it was 3 2. And ever since then, they've been behind. Not anymore. It's a tie ball game. Earhart to Price. Jones comes up with a nice, a nice touch. And the Eagles get it over. Earhart again sets Price up. She hits it too deep. And wow, just like that, the Eagles. Time out. Just before the timeout, the Lady Eagles were able to take the lead, 21-20. Brown. Spartan's lucky to get that one back over the net. Set to Fredericks, and she just powers the ball across the, the entire court. And really, it was just too quick for the Lady Spartans to get a touch on it. That's going to make it 22 20. After it looked like the Lady Spartans were in command of this first game. They've given it back. And Godan on serve. That's deep. 21, 22, Lady Eagles still in the lead. Carly Arthur back to serve. Eagles have to get it over, and they do. Brown tries to direct that ball, unable to control where it lands, and it's now 23-21. Lady Eagles. Looks like Miggy back to serve. Earhart to Price. And Price hits it right at Miggy, who's unable to control it. And now it's 22-23. Lady Eagles, this one going down to the wire. Cache Shelton. 
sends it across. Fredericks, too much power. You just can't give her that kind of look on the net. She will put it away. And the Lady Eagles, speaking of put it away, are one point from ending this first game with a huge comeback. Emily Campo looking to close it out. Hits it right at Kalani. Jones. Wow. Miscommunication there. Leaving the door open for the Lady Spartans. The Eagles just weren't quite sure what to do with that set from Jones. And here comes Price with the serve. Too much. And just like that, the Lady Eagles take game one away from the Lady Spartans. 25 to 23. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology. Safe and secure schools. A variety of sports. Fine arts. And learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles. And this is where we educate every child, every day. Game two underway here. In slide L, Salmon High School, Lady Spartans taking off the first Baptist Lady Eagles. Lady Eagles were able to win that first game, a comeback from behind victory. And now they get the first point in the second game. It's 1-0. Miggy serves it up. Nice dig from Brown, who sends it to Kalani Brown, who just overpowers the ball again and again. I mean, really, if you can just get it to her, the Lady Spartans can really do some work. 1-1, one, one. here comes Denisha Price to serve. Good serve, Jones sends it up to Fredericks who hits the net, and just like that, Lady Spartans 2-1. And this is familiar territory for the Lady Spartans early in these games. Let's see how they finish. Price again, Fredericks. That ball. That ball was in. Ooh, man, okay. Well, looked to me like it was close. 2-2. Two, two. Lady Eagles tied up. I don't think that ball looked out to me, but I don't know if I saw it correct. We must not have Emily Campo back to serve for the Lady Eagles. We have a 2-2 two, two tie. Ooh, unlucky there. Price just can't find the handle. And Campos' serve is an ace. 3-2 now, Lady Eagles. Campo again. Right over the net. Nice serve. Brown wanted to hit it hard. Couldn't quite get to it. Jones. Sets it for Fredericks, who gets it over the net to Brown. Brown sets it to Brown. And she can't get down on it. Sends the ball out. 4-2, Lady Eagles. Spartans looking a little out of sorts here after that first loss. Eagles looking to take advantage, Campo especially. Brown gets it over. And the Eagles unable to convert that point. Thurstrup just couldn't get enough on it. And that's going to make the score 4-3. The Lady Eagles. Brown back to serve. 
gets it over. That ball sent straight in the air and backwards. Jones just has to try to do something to get it over the net from that back line and she can't do it. It's gonna bring us to 4-4. Brown still on serve. Jones, nice set Fredericks just kind of dumps it over. Brown sets for Brown. He was trying to, I believe, just kind of dunk that ball over the net, and she mishandles it, making the score 5-4. Fredericks really been uh, scoring some nice points for the Eagles in this match. Back to serve. Nice serve, really nice serve. Price. Fredericks digs it out and then hits it back across. Wow, look at that. Kayla Sibley finds an opening and the Eagles cannot answer. That'll bring it to 5-5 in game two. Alexis Valerie, nice serve Jones. Fredericks from the back, just finds a spot. Really just picking spots and able to put it right where she wants it. That's some accuracy that you really like to see from the Lady Eagles. That makes it 6-5. After that timeout from the scorer's table, it's still 5-5 on the scoreboard. So we'll just, we'll go with that as Brown gets uh, stopped at the line. And now we have a 6-5 lead. Lady Eagles game two, Jones back to serve. Still not sure what the hang up was at the table back there. Kalani Brown puts it back in play. Price sends it too far. And the Spartans again lose a point and it's 7-5 Lady Eagles. Jones again to serve the libero for the Lady Eagles. And again, the referees seem to be having some type of issue. And if I find out what it is, I'll let you know as she runs back across the court. We'll have another timeout. Time in, Jones with the serve to Kalani Brown. Spartans get it over. And that's a Spartan point. That makes it 7-6. Spartans trying to get back into this one. Both teams are kind of going back and forth here. And there is an issue with the referees, some type of thing going on with the score table. So uh, there's a lot going on right now. And we got a lot of action on the court, as you can see. That ball set. Price able to put it where no one was able to get it. And now we have a tie game here. Game two tied up 7-7. First Baptist Lady Eagles, Salmon Lady Spartans. Megan Brown, nice serve to Jones. Campo. Brown tries to find a seam, can't do it. It's going to make it 8 7 Eagles. We got a substitution. Revere comes in. Thurstrup takes a seat and Revere is going to serve. Revere gets it over. That ball goes in. Kalani uh, unsure of the position of that one, lets it go. And it dropped in. 9-7 now. As Revere serves again. Brown. Price. 
Price and Miggy kind of met in the middle there with Price winning that battle. And the point for the Lady Spartans. It's going to be 9-8. Carly Arthur back to serve this one. She gets it in, Fredericks, Campo. Unfortunate there, Price trying to do something. Can't figure it out. Gives a point to the Eagles. 10-8. Game two. Godan. Brown. Sets it for Price. Eagles, nicely done. And we'll restart for the Lady Spartans. Again, there was a, a meet in the middle, and the Lady Spartans able to dig that out. Kalani with the score. Going to make it 10-9 now. And these two teams are trading punches, so to speak, back and forth here. Game two. And this is kind of what I expected earlier, you know, pregame talking to the coaches. When these two teams get together, this is what you can expect. Jordan Earhart back to serve. Miggy. Fredericks sends it to Brown. Price gets it over. Jones, Campo, Miggy. Brown sets it for Price. She sends it cross court. That ball going to go back to Spartan's side. And Kalani Brown says, I'll just finish it, thanks. And she does so. 10-10. Nice rally from both teams. Tie ball game. And that brings us back to Jordan Earhart. Good serve to Jones. Campo. Fredericks. Wow. She gets the point. A lot of power. A lot of power from uh, Jackie Fredericks, that is. 11-10. Miggy back to serve. Kalani Brown puts it away. Tie ball game, 11-11. Game two. Denisha Price on serve. Jones. Campo. Wow, look at that. Very nice from... Number 22, Megan Brown. Saw an opening, opening and took it. And for the first time here, the Lady Spartans have taken the lead 12-11 as Price serves it up. Campo sets. Play at the net, Price. Campo back to Fredericks. Off of Kalani Brown. Frederick with a, with a big point there. She hit it right to Kalani, and Kalani could not block it down. 12 all here, game two. First Baptist and Salmon. Campo. Nice serve. And again, the Lady Eagles find a way to get that point. It's 13-12. Campo again on serve. That ball goes into the net. Easy point for the Lady Spartans. And we're all tied up again, 13-13. Kalani Brown serves it into the net, gives it right back. 
trading points here for these two teams. Again, this is the first game of the season for both squads. And it's been pretty high intensity thus far. Game two, Fredericks with a beautiful serve. Put some spin on it and everything. The ball hit the lights. Point goes to, or, yeah, point goes to Lady Eagles. 15-13. Fredericks. Great serve. Brown, too much. Too much on it. 16-13, Lady Eagles with a, a bit of a rally here. Kind of midway, kind of late in the game, too. Eagles finding a way to make it happen. Fredericks with this, uh, a, a really nice serve over the top of the net. Price to Jones, almost miscommunication. Jones gets it over, Kalani Brown. Kind of a back set, looks like she, looks like she set it in properly. It's gonna make it 17-13 and all of a sudden Lady Eagles are looking like they are in control of game two. Fredericks again, almost over, into the net, 17-14. And we'll see if the Lady Spartans can come back from this deficit. Here's Alexis Valerie to serve. Jones, Campo. No problem for the Spartans. Good set. That's Brown with a dunk. Eagles. Unable to dig that out. And we're going to have a point to the Lady Spartans. Okay. Referee intervenes. And we continue at 17-15. That ball drops in. Fantastic serve. I think it caught the Eagles off guard. Really, I kind of think the referee kind of caught everyone off guard, stepping onto the court like she did. Nonetheless, Alexis Valerie with a great serve. Here she goes again. Tries to drop it in again. Wow, look at this. Lady Spartans, just like that. 17-16 have found a spark here in game two. And somehow, okay, I'm just going to go with what the scoreboard says here. It's 17-17, but the Eagles are on serve. And now it looks like it's going to be 18-16. They're going to take that last point away. Okay, well, the Spartans get it back, so now it should be 18-17, and that's what, indeed what it says. I'm just trying to keep up here, folks, keep you folks informed. The referees, this is their first game of the season as well. I think they need to knock some of the rust off, and uh, we're all back where we should be here. Lady Eagles leading this game, game two by one point, 18-17. Spartans, Kalani sets for Brown. And a little miscommunication there from the Eagles ties this game up at 18-18. And just like the first one, this one is going to go down to the wire. Megan Brown back to serve. She's played really, really well for the Spartans thus far. Nice set for Fredericks. Look at that dig. Wow. Brown just really got down for that. Kalani mishit it. Unfortunately for the Lady Spartans, it's going to be 19-18. Lady Eagles sub in Revere again to serve. 
Kalani really probably wants that one back. And we play on. Brown. Price sends it over to Jones. Campo. Here's Miggy. Out of bounds. And again, tie ball game. It's 19-19, folks. Carly Arthur back to serve for the Lady Spartans. And this has been a battle. Tries to place it in the back corner. Eagles unable to control that. And the Lady Spartans take the lead again. Even if it is just by one point. It's 2019 Lady Spartans with Carly Arthur again to serve. Jones, Campo, Miggy. Kalani Brown blocks it back. Fredericks. Jones just has to get it over. There's Brown. Sets it for Price. The Eagles again set it up for Fredericks. Look at this. Tierra Warren. And the Spartans able to hold on. After that, I'm going to call it a furious rally. And it's now 1921 with Carly Arthur still on serve. Fredericks back to Jones. Miggy's got to get it over, can't do it. And just like that, the Spartans have decided they want to take the lead. And we're going to have our first time out of game two. Lady Spartans leading the Lady Eagles 22 to 19. Game on after a brief timeout. Arthur with the serve. Jones hits it a little deep. Kalani Brown, no problem. That's just an unforced error you cannot make against Kalani. She will just put it away. Just a force over the net with her height. Arthur again. Looks like she might be serving, serving it out here if they can get this point. Jones, Campo to Fredericks. Brown, Kalani sends it over. Revere to Campo, here comes Miggy, and that's deep. And just like that, the Spartans. It's game point, folks. Game point for Arthur. Sends it up, Jones, Campo, Fredericks over the net. That ball hits. Arthur tried to dig it out. She couldn't do it. It's 24-20. Lady Spartan still game point in game two. Godan. Brown almost mishandled it. Spartan's able to get it over Campo, Fredericks, Kalani, Brown shuts it down. And just like that, the Lady Spartans take game two, 25 to 20. The Lady Eagles here with Cameron Miggy to serve up the beginning of game three. With each team taking a game up to this point in what's really been a hard fought battle. First Baptist and Salmon High Schools going at it here. High School Volleyball, Slide L High School Volleyball. And the Lady Eagles take the first point. Miggy to serve. Spartans with some young, some fresh legs in there to start this third game. Fredericks. That goes off price. Frederick's got a lot of power. 2-0. First Baptist. Cameron again to serve this up. Gets it to Alexis Valerie. And then the Spartans are unable to control it. Point goes to the Lady Eagles, and it's 3-0. Just like that, Cameron Miggy again. 
serve out of bounds. And the Lady Spartans are on the board, three to one. Eagles have to go way out to get that one. Fredericks just sends it over. Kalani sets Price, and she gets the score. It's 2-3. Jordan Earhart back to serve this up, looking to tie the score. The Eagles, all they have to do is get it over, can't do it. The mix up there on the court. Tied 3-3. Earhart, Jordan Earhart again to serve. Sends it over. Fredericks. Leanne Huffman. Kalani Brown. Jones. Campo. Huffman can't find the handle on it. Can't get it over the net. And the Lady Spartans take the lead 4-3 just like that in game three. Earhart again on serve. Jones, Campo, Fredericks, Price, excuse me, Brown. Kalani Brown to Price. Price puts it away. Nice play from the Lady Spartans. That's pretty much how you draw it up, folks. And Earhart again to serve. Spartans on quite a run here. And that ball, I guess you'd call that an unforced error, and that's not what you like to see. Coach King probably not happy with that, giving up a free point, and it's 5-4. To serve. Right over the net. Well played from the Spartans. Almost miscommunication. They get it over. Campo. And there is a miss hit. It's going to be 6 4. Lady Spartans. And that's going to bring Benicia Price to the line for the serve. Price, good serve, Jones. Nice dig. Fredericks, Kalani Brown says no way. And they quick set it over. Brown, nice play. Very, very nice from the Lady Spartans. Both teams with a fair amount of skill here on the court today. Seven to four especially before the first game of the season, you can really tell that the Eagles and the Spartans have put in some work here, and it's paying off. Price to Jones. Campo to Frederick. She sends it cross court. Nice dig. Back to the Eagles. Jones gets it over. Kalani Brown, nice set. Wow. Megan Brown unable to finish that point. And that makes it 7-5. Jackie Fredericks back to serve. She's got a killer serve. Brown to Jones. Campo sets it for Fredericks from way back. Brown and Price almost collide. 7-6. And just like the first two games, this game going tit for tat, really, back and forth. Wow, nice, look at that. Unable to make it count, but just to get a hand on it. Nice play from Carly Arthur. The Eagles with the point, making it 7-7. Fredericks with just a, I mean, look at that. Hits the net. Kalani Brown has to find it. She does. And then we're going into the net. I guess someone touched it. And the Eagles take the lead. 
surprise, everybody. We've got a lead change. And Fredericks again. Spartans trying to get her off serve. But if they don't, man. And just like that, it's 9-7. And we've got our, a timeout on the court. Lady Eagles behind Fredericks serve taking control. Fredericks looking to put it into play after that last time out. The Spartans trying to slow her down. And Kalani does so. Kalani Brown able to put that ball away. It's 9-8 Lady Eagles, but that puts the Lady Spartans back on serve with Kalani. And again, we're back and forth here with these two teams. Kalani puts it in play. Fredericks back for Jones, who gets it over. Wow. Hits the net, still falls. And it's 10-8, Eagles. Going to have the libero, Madison Jones, on serve. Again, referee discussing something at the scorer's table. Jones puts it in. Spartans get it over. Jones, Campo, Miggy. There's Denisha Price. Kalani can't find the other side of the net. 11-8. Again, Jones to serve. Brown. Too much. 12-8. Megan Brown unable to bring that ball to the court quick enough. Jones with the serve. Kalani. Kalani able to put enough on that one. So that really Olivia Godin couldn't do much with it. Score 12-9. Spartans looking to spark something here in game three. Jones sets it up for Fredericks, who puts it too deep. And is it, this, this is familiar to me. This, this is like deja vu from the first two games. No one really can get too much of a lead here. Spartans put it in play. Jones sets it up for Miggy, and she just puts it away. No problem. It's going to make the score 13-10. First Baptist. Revere comes in for the Lady Eagles like she has. And again, that far referee at the scores table making some comments. And we're back in play. Revere back to serve. Eagles with the lead, 13-10. Game three. Tierra Warren able to find that. Jones, Price, Earhart to Kalani, who hits it into the net. Kalani's got to get closer, I think, is what's going on there. Kalani, they've got to find a way for Kalani to actually get a little closer to the net so that she can hit down on it. When she does that, she hits it with so much power that the Eagles really can't do anything with it. Revere, that goes off the side of her hand. And it's 14-11. Eagles still in the lead. Megan Brown back to serve for the Spartans. Puts it in play. Fredericks, that ball set up. Godan. There's Kayla Sibley. She gets it over. Miggy. Price 
Well played from the Lady Eagles. Fredericks, that ball hits the roof, can't do anything with it. And just like that, it's 15-11. First Baptist Lady Eagles looking to hold on to this lead. But again, folks, if you stayed in, in this game with me, anything can happen, and it has in the first two. That ball out, 16-11. The Lady Eagles, Godan back to serve. And that ball flies awkwardly off of her hand, giving the serve back to the Spartans and making the score 16 to 12. Here's Carly Arthur, who came up with a few nice serves last game to put the Spartans back into it. Nice serve to Jones, Campo, Fredericks. Price has to dig that out. It goes right back across. Miggy, and that is blocked by Kalani Brown. Maybe with a little help from Price. 16-13, Carly Arthur seems to be the good luck serve for the Lady Spartans. Campo, Fredericks. Wow, it looks like if Price would have let that go, it would have gone long, but you know, it's something you can't really tell. Game speed is a lot different than watching it up here in the stands. And with that, it's 17-13, Eagles. Miggy, nice dig from Brown, even better dig from Jordan Earhart. Nonetheless, Spartans unable to convert. And Miggy again with the serve. It's 18-13, folks. Nice set from Earhart to Kalani Brown. That ball paints the line. Man, that was close. 18-14. And this is about when the Lady Spartans, if the script is correct, we'll go ahead and start a rally and we'll get back in this game. That's how it's been going here this afternoon. All games going to the wire. And that ball goes, whoa, out of bounds. But it was close again. 19-14, the Eagles desperately probably want to close this one out, giving them a, a two to one game advantage in this match. Campo to serve, she's got a good serve too. Brown can't do anything with it, and it's 20 to 14. The Salmon Spartans have decided to call a timeout, see if they can regroup, figure this game out. It's 20-14, game three, the Lady Eagles. After that timeout, Campo puts the ball in play. Spartans cannot find it. And it's... 21-14. First Baptist with a pretty commanding lead here towards the end of game three. Uncharacteristic of how the games have gone thus far. And Brown, valiant effort. Unfortunately, nothing doing there. And it's now 22-14. to The Eagles with a real chance to close this game out now. Campo, serve, Kalani Brown with a miss hit. And the wheels have come off of this game for the Lady Spartans. It's now 23-14.
First Baptist, Campo. Another good serve. Earhart sets it for Price, who just gets it over. Campo, Jones, Fredericks. Kalani Brown says, not so fast again. And it's 23-15. That'll bring up Denisha Price with a score, 23-15. Jones. Sends it over, wow. Nice play. Nice play for the Eagles. It's gonna bring up game point. 24-15, and who other than Fredericks, really, to close this out for the Eagles. The Spartans are gonna really have to keep track of this one. You can tell she wants to hit a nice one. She does, that ball dips. I mean, a lot of spin put on that ball. Fredericks able to close game three out for the First Baptist Lady Eagles, 25 to 15. St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, an A-rated school district. Graduates with the highest ACT scores in the state. Facilities with the latest technology safe and secure schools, a variety of sports, fine arts, and learning to last a lifetime. I'm Superintendent Trey Foles, and this is where we educate every child every day. All right, everybody, game four underway here. First Baptist Lady Eagles, Salmon Lady Spartans. The Lady Eagles have taken two out of the three games here. The first two very, very close. The third one, not so much. The Spartans looking to spark something in this fourth game to get them going. And that serve from Jordan Earhart goes deep. That'll bring up Cameron Miggy. The score is one to one here in game four. Brown has the backup, still able to get that ball over the net, and it's 2 1. That'll bring up Denisha Price, who's really done some good work for the Spartans here this afternoon, and she's going to serve. Nice serve. Eagles unable to get that over in three. That'll make the score 3-1. Spartans. Price in play. Jones, Campo, Fredericks. Salmon able to handle that. Brown gets it over. Revere to Jones. Again, nice ball from the Spartans. Brown powers it over. Eagles not able to do anything with that. And, with, and just like that, the Spartans have a 4-1 lead here in game four. Price still on serve. Nice serve. Jones cannot get down for it, and it's 5-1. And folks, this is pretty typical of how this match as a whole has gone. As soon as you think the Eagles might have a foothold on the match, they do not, and they're gonna call that ball in. Fredericks able to hit the line. That was very, very close. And that makes it five to two. Very, very, very close. And the Eagles with the point. Campo back to serve. Three down here, game four. 
And here it comes. Nice serve into Price. She's got to get it over. She does so. Fredericks, no problem for the Spartans. Brown cross court out of bounds. Megan Brown, you know, is really a, a, a force on the court. She's in the right spot at the right time, and she gets a lot of looks. And uh, unfortunately for that particular turn, that ball lands out of bounds. Nice serve from Campo. Fredericks knocks it down. Eagles set back up for Fredericks, who gets it over the net. Kalani Brown gets a hand on it, hits it backwards, and it's 5-4. Campo again on serve. Price. Price gets it over. Campo, Jones. Fredericks, Kalani Brown blocks it down. 6-4 your score. The Lady Spartans with Kalani Brown back to serve. Seems like every time Kalani goes back to serve, the prior point she has done something, you know, to help her team by way of scoring a point. And then she gets to go back and serve. Good serve. Sets it up for Jones, who has to get it over the net and does so. Price into the net. A little too, little too much. The Lady Eagles with a point. And it's 6-5. Eagles down by one. Game four. Fredericks, who really has the deadliest serve on the court, I believe, really over the net with spin. Brown unable to finish the point is Kalani Brown. And the Eagles can't find that one in the lights. And it's 7-5. Here in the Salmon Spartan Gym. It's going to put Alexis Valerie back to serve. She hits it right into the net. And that's just a giveaway point. And you can be assured Coach King does not like that. 7-6. Again, a close game. And this is what we've come to expect all afternoon. Jones puts it in play. Kalani. Price gets it over. Miscommunication from the Eagles. Everybody kind of stepped away from that, expecting their teammate to come up and kind of make a play, and then no one did. Lady Spartan, point eight six. Megan Brown back to serve. Good serve, Jones, Campo, Frederick. Frederick, really. You leave her open. She'll pick a spot and pick you apart. 8-7, Revere. Again, subs in. For the serve. That ball makes it over the net. Price. It's blocked down from Miggy. And folks, we're tied up at eight apiece with Revere again on serve. The ball stays in. Price gets it over. Godan to Campo. Miggy. Cache Shelton. Can't control it. And just like that, folks. The Lady Eagles have taken the lead here in game four. Kalani Brown. Price 
Godin, Campo, Miggy. That ball sent straight up. Price gets it over again. Nice save, Campo, to Miggy. Brown sends it over. Nice block from Price. Excuse me. That was Sibley. This ball still in play. Price, Godan, Campo, Frederick, Kalani Brown picks it up. Wow. Really nice rally from both teams. Lady Eagles come up with the point. But that's well played volleyball from both sides. Revere still on serve. The score 10 8 here in the fourth. Kalani Brown to Earhart. Sibley, Price, Fredericks. Campo back to Fredericks. Too much. Salmon with a point, 10 9. As Fredericks put too much on that one. But we've seen that time and time again from her this afternoon. She's usually pretty accurate with that. Fred Fredericks sets it up. Miggy, nice save from Salmon. Kalani sends it across to Jones. Campo, Miggy. Again, Kalani Brown knocks it down, still in play. Wow, look at that. Brown able to tie this game up. And that's got to be a confidence booster for the Lady Spartans. When a player like Kalani can put it away like that. Revere. Fredericks. Looks like that was going out. Salmon unable to get that back to the net. And that's 11-10. Lady Eagles, Godan, sets up to serve. The ball stays in price. Puts too much on that. 12-10. Lady Eagles would love to close this match out. Go, Dan. Kalani. Just too much. 12 11. Lady Spartans down by one. Kalani Brown heating up. Two of the last three points have come off of her hand. The referee talking to the scorer's table on the far side. And just like that, we're back in play. Earhart. Campo to Fredericks, and you just you just can't you can't leave Fredericks open like that. To have that type of look across court, she'll end it almost every time. That makes it 13-11. Lady Eagles, for First Baptist. I don't want to say I've controlled this game because it's going back and forth, but uh, you get the feeling that Spartans would love to take this lead. Nice play, very nice. That's Denisha Price with a nice little dink over the net. It's gonna make it 13-12. Price with the serve to Jones. Campo with the set to Fredericks. Into the net and then over. That's just power. She's just able to power the ball through the block, over the net. And it's 14-12. Campo back to serve. Campo. Sends it over. Brown. 
Nice little move from Jordan Earhart to get it over Fredericks. That's Price. Kalani's got to get it over, and she does. Jones to Campo. Fredericks. Nice play. Lady Spartans able to keep that in play. Campo sets it again to Fredericks. And again, they keep it in. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Very nice from Megan Brown. And then that's, that's out of bounds. Yeah, Fredericks a little too strong with that. And I'll tell you what, the Lady Spartans earned that point. They were all over the court playing, you know, six, seven feet off the outside line. Kalani Brown to serve this up. It's 14-13. Salmon down by one. Jones gets it over to, to Kalani Brown. Price. Nice pop. And then confusion. Confusion from the Lady Eagles. And we are tied up. Tied up 14-14, folks, here in game four. Kalani. Sends it out of bounds just like that with 15-14. Eagles with a one-point lead here. And that's going to send Jackie Fredericks to the service line. Nice spin. There it is. I mean, you know, that right there is the weapon for the Lady Eagles. And they know it, and Fredericks knows it, and it's 16-14. If she can keep that serve going, it's really, really hard to put together some offense. Look at that. It just comes off of the hand with such velocity. 17-14. This is the last person that the Lady Spartans wanted to see serve here in a game type, game four type situation like this. Fredericks again. Off the net, wow. Spartans able to control and set. Kalani Brown gets it over. Campo. Jones. Spartans again. Kalani sets it for Megan. And Megan Brown able to find an opening. Wow, well played. 17-15. Game four. Spartans looking to climb back into this match. Alexis Valerie back to serve. <laughs> Valerie sends that out, and that is just another unforced error from the Lady Spartans. Couldn't have come at a worse moment. And it's 18-15, First Baptist. Madison Jones looks to put this in play. Price. Megan Brown sends it over. Miggy to Campo. Kalani Brown able to get a hand on it. And again, the Eagles just unaware of exactly their teammates are on the court. It appears that's happened several times. And it's 18-16. You know, it's the first game of the season. You can tell these two teams are going to get better. But this has been a really entertaining match. Wow, look at this. A standing shot over the net. Megan Brown, 18-17. And she's back to serve. Wow, look at that placement. Just a little off-speed serve. That's all that was. No big deal, says Megan. <laughs> we'll tie it up. I'm waiting for a moon serve. Those are always fun to watch. I don't think we'll see it. These girls are too skilled. <laughs> Jones. Miggy. Look at this. Wow, great save. Kalani's got to get it over. She can't do it. I'll tell you what, Megan Brown, what an effort to even get to that ball. And it's 19-18, First Baptist. Revere 
to serve. Lexi Revere sends it over. Brown to Price. Revere with a nice save, but gets it put right back at her feet. And it's tied up, folks. Tied up, game four. Carly Arthur, who has been on with her serve for the Lady Spartans, serves it over. Fredericks deep. The Spartans got a hand on it, but couldn't send it back across the net. And it's 2019, the Lady Eagles. Here comes Olivia Godin. Puts it in play. Carly. Kalani gets blocked. Looks like she didn't get all of it on that play. The Eagles were able to knock that down handily. And it's 21-19. Godan. That ball in play. Kalani. Nice save, Campo. Jones got to get it over, and she, wow, great play from Jones just to get it over the net. Ball still in play. Price gets it over. Campo sets it for Fredericks. Wow, and that ball is just placed directly across court. Just a great shot back down the line. And that is a huge point for the Lady Eagles as they try to close this match out. They're three points away. Let's see what they can do. Godan again. Puts it in play. Megan Brown. Kalani. Great vision there from Kalani Brown to find the corner. Nobody at home. And it's 22-20. Let's see if Jordan Earhart can do some damage with her serve. Lady Eagles look poised. Earhart gets it over to Jones. Campo sets for Fredericks, which is what we've seen all afternoon. Brown able to save it. Price. Fredericks saves to Campo. Miggy's got to get it over, and she does so. Earhart. Brown. Miggy. Brown. Earhart. Price. Wow. First Baptist thinks that that ball was out, and I tend to agree with them. Man, that ball was, uh, it was close. It was close, everybody. But that ball may have gone out. Doesn't matter. Ball back in play. The Eagles, Fredericks with a nice little dink over the, over the net. Spartans able to keep it in play. Fredericks again. Middle of the court. It's 23-21, folks. This has been quite a match between these two Slidell teams. Miggy, Cameron Miggy back to serve. Lady Eagles two points away from the match. Serve is up. And just like that, it is match point for First Baptist. 24-21, it's all up to Miggy right here to put the Spartans away here this afternoon. Serve is up. Price just sends it over. Campo sets for Fredericks. And just like that, just like that, Fredericks puts the match away. And the First Baptist Lady Eagles have defeated the Lady Spartans here 25-21 here in this first game of the season. Two quality volleyball clubs. I'd like to thank everyone who is involved with bringing you this game this afternoon, starting with the superintendent of St. Tammany Parish Public Schools, Mr. Trey Fulce, our director of broadcasting and communication, Dr. Melody Swang. Alongside me here this afternoon, my cameraman, John Harrison. I'm Red Sharp. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the match tonight. We'll see you next time here in the prep zone.